Welcome to the magical realm of Kanara Creek, a hidden gem tucked away in BLM land north of the enchanting Kolob section of Zion National Park. But this hike isn't in Zion or any sections related to it. Just east of the charming town of Kanaraville, this hike is an adventure that goes by many names. Kanara Creek, Kanara Slot Canyon, or Kanara Falls. This breathtaking little canyon has captured the hearts of hikers around the world, thanks to its Instagram worthiness and photos. Before we get into the hike, let's talk about some of the requirements. This moderately strenuous hike can take anywhere from two to six hours, depending on how far you want to venture up the canyon. The trail stretches 1.6 miles to the first waterfall, and for the daring explorers, an additional 0.3 to lead to the second stunning waterfall, making your round trip at that point 3.8 miles. However, you should brace yourself for some technical challenges along this hike. During certain points of the year, it is expected that there could be up to waist-deep water in some spots. You will also be conquering the ladders at both waterfalls. And this feat is not for the faint of heart, especially for the boulder section. And sadly, you can't just go on this hike because you're in the area. A permit is required. At the time of our adventure, the permit costs $12 per person and should be purchased in advance. This area is limited to 150 hikers per day as of 2023. You will need to check in at the check-in stand before you go on your hike. Make sure to print off your permit or have the QR code on your phone. Now let's get into the hike. From the parking lot, you'll notice a large, wide pathway that leads to a gate. This will take you to the kiosks for you to check in. From the moment you check in at the kiosk, the adventure begins. The beginning part of this hike, you will be following an old access road. This is probably the least scenic part of this hike, but it has to be done to get to the canyon. You will be led into the hurricane cliffs, passing by water tanks before encountering the lower sections that begin the canyon. You will also be crossing the stream multiple times, and this is just giving you a taste of what's to come. Before you know it, you'll be at the canyon, and the road eventually ends by a water well where the true hiking really begins. On this hike, you'll be doing a mixture of dry and wet. Our major recommendation for this hike is to wear a good pair of shoes that you don't mind getting wet. Hiking sandals might be recommended, but it might be rather cold unless you're doing this in the summer months. I personally wore an old pair of shoes that I knew had good grip that if they got wet and ruined, I wouldn't be bothered by. Either way, we recommend wearing some sort of water shoe in some nature to protect your feet. The water can be extremely cold, even in the summer months. As you're hiking in the lower sections of the canyon, you'll notice that there is some overgrown charm to this trail. Before you know it, the switching between dry and wet becomes more frequent. You'll know you're getting closer to this section when you reach this fence line along the trail. After this fence line, the canyon will narrow and you'll be getting closer to the water hiking of this trail. After you reach the edge of the fence line, you'll quickly descend down to where the creek is. We recommend watching your footing because it can be a little slick. At the bottom of the hill, you'll reach your first water crossing of many to come. And these water crossings on a hot summer day can be very refreshing. From this point forward, you'll switch between hiking in the shallow waters and hiking on the benches above the stream. This point, it's important for us to take note that this is a tread lightly area to preserve this beautiful landscape. And the goal is to avoid causing further erosion along the banks of the creek. Please be careful where you walk and try to only walk where you're supposed to on this hike to prevent further erosion. Look, somebody rolling up their pant legs. Who is this mysterious person who's been following us the entire Oh my God, it's there. Oh, it's cold. Well, it feels good, but it's cold. cold. cold is it? After hiking in the creek a little ways, you'll finally get to a kind of a rock bouldering section. Be mindful since your shoes are rather wet at this point, making the rocks a little more slick than normal. After hiking what seems like forever, you'll finally reach the dark section of this hike. From this point forward, you will be in the water the entire time. My feet are cold. I know, but it feels kind of good, but kind of not. It's, it hurts, but it's good. As we make our way through the slot canyon, this is the time when we should probably bring up the weather situation. Mother Nature has her own sense of humor, but we must take her warnings seriously. 
If rain is in the forecast, it is best to reschedule your hike. Flash flooding in this area is a serious concern and we don't want anyone injured. As you wander through the slot canyon, you'll suddenly be greeted with the first waterfall. This is Kanara Falls. This waterfall is 15 feet high and it's made out of a rock jam. When you reach this first waterfall, this is where most people turn around, but you have a decision to make. The metal staircase that is now in place makes the ascent above the waterfall a lot easier than it used to be. You want to evaluate the ladder safety carefully before making your decision. And don't be disheartened if you decide to enjoy lunch at the lower section of the canyon and hike back. This ladder is in the deep depths of a slot canyon, making it icy if you're hiking it in the winter months. You're still recording? Yes. Yeah, you're gonna fall down. Uh. After the first waterfall, the boulder awaits you. To get above this section of the waterfall, it can be bypassed by skillfully scrambling up to the right side of the canyon. This boulder has a large log used to help as a ladder to help hikers over this section. Careful foot and hand placement is required to conquer this obstacle. Yeah, I guess I'll give it to you. Ah, there you go. <laughs> do, 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 do. And left. And right. And left. And right. And left. And right. It's holding. It held. Ah! Ah! <laughs> It is taller than it looks. After that major obstacle is out of the way, you'll have just a few minor obstacles to reach the second set of waterfalls. But don't forget, you have to come back down all that stuff you just climbed up. Oh joy. The journey will continue with several more scenic turns, a few minor obstacles, and some more water sections to walk through. It's probably one foot deep. I just can jump up or over the rock. It just looks deep on these short people. <laughs> can you climb up the crack? You get to. What? Turn around, you. And smile. You gonna film me? Oh, good. Who's gonna get the camera? Butt. Everyone wants to see my butt. Oh, your butt's not fat. Nope, it's a lean butt. All right, I guess I'm gonna turn around and get it. Ah, oh, the crack. I'm not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to spank it. Oh, you made it up easy. All right, let's spank the crick. Did she get to spank it? <laughs> spank the crick, girl. Let's spank it. <laughs> yeah. Spank, spank, spank. <laughs> Eventually, you'll reach a second, slightly smaller waterfall. These waterfalls are where we decided to end our hike and have our snack before we headed back to the truck. Up and smile. Oh, you can't even make it. You're gonna make it? What do you want, a hand? Everybody clap. Ah! You made it, barely. I thought it, the grit, grit of my teeth. Yeah. Kanara Creek is a majestic place, every bit as stunning as the online pictures promise. The soothing waters in the slot canyon sections add an intriguing twist to this adventure. I would say it's suitable for families with kids who can reach the main waterfall without any trouble. So we encourage our fellow explorers to gear up with enthusiasm and embark on this incredible hike through Kanara Creek. Embrace the magic, leave no trace, and immerse yourself in the marvels of nature. We truly enjoyed our hike and would gladly do it again should we apply for another permit. If you like adventures like these ones, we hope you would like and subscribe and share with your friends. It helps grow our channel and costs you nothing. We hope to see you out hiking there soon. Bye for now.